There is a little bit of disappointment, however, that we are not allowed to train in the in the Butter Dome, which is a much better track, a lot more space, and a lot less dangerous. So I think there was this idea that they wanted to create an environment that was more like NCAA style and have fewer kids running around. On a certain level, one can understand that, I guess, If, but it was just a matter of traffic control. It wasn't really an issue of kicking everybody out, at least from our perspective. I had this idea that, okay, we have this problem, but we can resolve it if we work together as a community and maybe we can build a new one. And while we build a new indoor track, we can create a model that we can repeat everywhere else. So we're gonna to try to minimize the expense of that model and sort of have a track in a box. And then everybody else, like if it should be inexpensive enough that other communities, other, well, it doesn't matter if they're in Alberta or anywhere else, they can actually talk to us about the model, about how we built it and minimize the cost and also have the right business model to keep it running in the future and the legal model so we never get kicked out. And so we got this whole thing figured out now where maybe we can make it a positive going forward.